Now a bigger question, uh, what is the difference between MD medicine and a DNB medicine? I'm being a DNB medicine and sir being the MD medicine. Uh, the difference is that I used to hear this story in our, college, in our hospital that uh, MD is awarded and the DNB is rewarded. See, the point in MD is that you are going to appear for the theory as well as practical exam in your own parent institute. And somewhere down the line, your head of department or examiner is always going to look at you. How were you there for the last three years? So there's a easy passing at any time in MD. But when you go for the DNB, the things are quite different. You do your training process in a hospital, which is not a government, but a private setup. And then you go out and give a theory exam, followed by a practical. And theory exam, okay, fine. The practical is sometimes not in your own city and you don't know any one of them. See, the problem in DNB, which I faced when I was doing my DNB, was somewhere I was lacking that vision that how to pass the exam. So over the time, what I could understand, the exam is almost the same for MD and DNB. Only the process of training is different in MD and DNB. MD, the college is always having a proper schedule to be followed. And especially into the last year of your MD, you learn more of how to pass an exam and how to crack this exam. But in DNB, it's a scattered approach. They keep on teaching you from the first year to the final year. But in the DNB, you have to be really good at the end to crack the theory as well as practical exam because there is no helping hand from your own hospital for that particular exam. So don't worry. That doesn't mean that you will not clear DNB. You can clear DNB in the very first attempt. I know many of the students who have cleared the DNB medicine theory and practical in the very first attempt. There's no problem in it.